Have you been to Ben Collector's Records before? I have, yeah. And why do you usually visit? Um, I'm a big music fan and uh, I come to Guildford quite a lot. I'm, I'm local, so it's always nice to go and crate dig. To enjoy the sun and... Yeah, to... we went out for breakfast as well. <laughs> so we're, just, we, we're going on holiday in a few weeks, so we're getting some bits and bobs. And yeah, yeah. yeah, But we always spot by when we're in town just yeah. to see what there is, yeah. see what new, new records there are. Yeah, I'm going to go into the record shops. Uh, I'm here to uh, follow one of my hobbies for many years, which is uh, browsing for uh, bargains in, uh, in, v in vinyl record stores. Uh, sometimes CDs, but mostly vinyl these days. Do you know about Record Store Day? I do, yeah. In fact, there was a record shop called People Records uh, down, down the other side of Tunsgate. And when I was about 13, me and a few friends uh, decided that we were going to go and queue really early. We didn't realise that it wouldn't be the same situation as in London, in Guildford. We thought there'd be massive queues. And we all met up at my house to sleep over before going down really early and got too excited, ended up going down at about midnight and sleeping the night outside of the record shop. And the first other people to turn up was about 7 a.m. So it's coming up soon, right, isn't it? Um, well, I know about Record Store Day, uh, store day because I go to Dance 2 Records and they have a open re well, have Record Store uh, Day there, yeah? Uh, I've heard of it. I don't know when it is. I haven't seen anything advertised, but I, I, I'm obviously aware of it, yeah. Uh, what attracts you to vinyl? It's like having a bit of history, yeah. like when you know, especially when you're looking at some of like the older sort of '60s records as well. And there's a way of like learning about sort of jazz and other genres. And it's I think you'd like listen to a whole album as well if you had a vinyl, rather than just listening to one one song that you like. And I quite like that as well. Yeah, you'll, you you'll, you'll probably sit down and immerse take, yourself. Yeah. Just the format, really. What I hear. I think it must be the size of the format, how big the artwork is. Um, and the ceremony of putting it on and seeing it spinning and so on, yeah. You know, when I was a kid in the 70s, of course, vinyl was the really big thing. Um, you know, I mean, CDs, I don't think they came around until 85 or whatever. So, you know, vinyl, I grew up with vinyl, you know, both singles and LPs. Um, and I ran a disco in the late 70s with a few mates. Um, and, you know, I, like everybody else of my age, uh, got rid of all my vinyl, you know, and then was surprised about 10 years ago when my, my 20 year old sons bought a record deck uh, and started collecting vinyl again. So uh, I'm, I'm glad to see vinyls back because it's, uh, you know, music has been too easy with uh, online and so forth. People want something to see and hold and buy and whatever. What does it mean to you to shop local? Uh, a lot actually. I much prefer shopping in shops than online and seeing shops close locally that I've enjoyed has really hurt so all the more reason to, to support the shops um, in my local area. like being part of the community, yeah. supporting independent stores. And seeing people you know when you're yeah. walking on the high street is really nice as well. Yeah, yeah. Just having a nice sort of civic centre, yeah. nice sort of atmosphere as well to support that. I like the shops I go to locally because they're both, um, you know, Ben's and Dance too, so they're both uh, kind of friends of mine and I've known them both for a long time. Oh, very much. Very, you know, particularly, um, you know, I know Ben's, here, Ben's been here for 20, 25, 30 years or whatever. Um, and, you know, these sort of record shops need to be treasured really because there's not that many of them. Um, they need to be supported. Um, you know, these guys have got to make a living as well. Um, digital or analog? Uh, analog all the way. Yeah. We both really. I mean, yeah, I think you, you can't you, yeah. go wrong with Spotify. Yeah. For just, if like, you're cooking dinner and you're everything. putting on a playlist, but then if we're we, sitting and immersing yourself. Yeah, if we had friends over, we'd probably put records on. Yeah. 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 It's a different, different sort of yeah. need, fulfilling yeah. a different need. Yeah. Um, either really doesn't really phase me. Well, you know. I use, I use Spotify, um, you know, and it's, uh, it's, it's great for organising playlists and listening to new stuff and trying to get yourself into new bands, either new bands or bands that you missed in the 60s, 70s, 80s or whatever. Um, so I use both, uh, you know, digital is very convenient. Um, I, try to, I try to use like CDs in the car and I try to, try to use vinyl at home. And when I'm out and about, I use Spotify. Do you remember your first record? 
My first record was in People Records and it was uh, Velociraptor by Kasabian. Yeah, I really liked that kind of cyclic artwork, the illustration. My first record was Chuck Berry and My Ding Ling, so that's 1960s. And are there any particular genres of music that you buy records for? I like Motown, don't I? And then you like a bit of everything. Yeah, I guess a lot of my records are like 80s yeah. sort of electronic records, just because yeah. that's what mostly you find in, in the and crates. And that's what your dad would have listened to. So yeah, definitely, to, definitely. Whereas Not my mum loved Motown, so then you sort of listen to what you were brought up with, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not necessarily what I'm listening to when I'm listening to Spotify. It's a different, yeah. a different experience, really, different yeah. genre often, Yeah. based on what you can find. Um, I like punk and UK hip hop actually. When I was about 14, my favourite genre was psychedelic rock. That's what I was big into. And then more recently, I've just been kind of trying to be more eclectic. One of my friend's dads, I found surprisingly eclectic when I was going over to their house. And I thought that was really cool of, instead of giving into my tendency of deciding, oh, I listen to this genre now, more deciding or well, maybe it would be cooler if I just decide to like everything and then I won't be denying myself anything. Do you know many other young people who might buy records too? Yeah and Loads, actually we were yeah. buying presents for some of our friends whose birthday are coming up so yeah a lot of our friends have records now yeah yeah and they've got their parents old record players or they've bought their own so yeah most of our friends do don't they? Yeah yeah I think so yeah um, I think um, you know I'm not sure whether too many young people are buying second hand but they uh, I think you know because um, you know, vinyl's being newly produced now. You know, uh, you know. I, I think the uh, I think there's been a big switch. 